hi guys it's Lorinda here once again today we are looking at the internal customer service factor now when we talk about service we usually think about the external customer but what we fail to realize is that our internal customers are equally important now who is the internal customer it's anyone who relies on another person to get their jobs done in our organization so our co-workers our colleagues are all internal customers so internal customer service is the service we provide to our co-workers and our colleagues to help them to get their jobs done in order for us to meet the needs of our external customers. Meaning that excellent service to the external customer is highly dependent on healthy internal relations. So what you do as an internal customer affects what everyone else does, which in the long run affects our external customers. Now let's look at some practical examples. It is what we do when a colleague asks for information he or she needs to complete her main task for the day. This is what we say when a service agent asks for key information from a department to be able to treat a customer complaint. This is how we greet that person from the other department when he walks into your office with an I need something from you expression on your face. It is how we respond to requests for data or information needed by another department to complete a report. This is how we respond to phone calls and emails from our colleagues. In helping others to work, we are helping your organization to succeed. Superior internal customer service improves morale, productivity, employee retention, and profitability in the long run. While internal customers may not necessarily purchase the products and services of the employer, they contribute to the success of the business, which means that strained internal relationships will adversely affect the success of the business. A typical example is a relationship between the back office and front office staff. Now we all know that front office staff deal with the customers directly and they, they depend on the back office to provide them the required support and information to enable them to do so effectively. Now what happens if the relationship is strained? The customer suffers in the long run. Now, how do we develop good internal customer service? Let's look at a few points. One, know your internal customer. Two, identify and meet their needs. Three, make co-workers feel valued. Four, set clear expectations mutually and ensure to meet them. Five, always keep colleagues informed of progress of work. Six, practice proactive information sharing. Seven, Solve problems. Eight, see every need of your colleague as an opportunity to delight your external customer. Now, if your colleague walks up to you seeking for assistance to do their job, see this as a positive interruption, even when you're busy. Give them their necessary attention and see it as an opportunity to help your internal customer, which will in the long run meet the needs of your external customer. Your willingness to assist others to do their job will help your organization to meet their goals. Now let's look at the three C's of internal customer service. One, care and concern. Two, cooperation and collaboration. Three, communication and connection. Outstanding internal customer service is simply good business. To conclude, if you're not serving an external customer, Note that you are serving an internal customer who is serving an external customer. Thank you for watching. Please keep sharing our videos and stay connected for other insightful episodes. See you again soon. Cheers.